Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23595, a build that has a few interesting improvements and also changes in the Windows 11 operating system and the Insider program. And of course, we also have fixes, which we're gonna cover in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the Tech Paste channel. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is changing the taskbar link out and regarding copilot you're going to notice that copilot is shown on the right side of the system tray on the taskbar to make the entry point of to copilot more clear and easily accessible by being closer to where the copilot pane opens as part of this change Microsoft also defaulted the show the desktop behavior for the far right corner of the taskbar to off and this can be re-enabled in the taskbar behavior section right click on the taskbar then taskbar settings then go to taskbar behaviors and you're going to have this function select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop and this will be re-enabled. This is pretty interesting so let me know below in the comments what do you think about this change that Microsoft has done to the taskbar and essentially Windows Copilot. And also Microsoft is beginning to re-roll out the change previously documented with build 23570 that introduces support for Copilot and Windows to be used across multiple monitors. Simply press the Copilot button on the taskbar on whichever monitor you want Copilot to show on or use the Win plus C shortcut to show Copilot on the last monitor that it was visible on. If you're using a keyboard you can use the Windows plus T keyboard shortcut to put the keyboard focus on the taskbar and navigate to the copilot taskbar button to show copilot on any monitor. Regarding Windows Share, if you've signed in with a Microsoft Intra ID, in addition to being able to share to your Microsoft Teams work or school contacts, you can now also share directly to specific Microsoft Teams channels and group chats as well as directly within the Windows Share window. Regarding Windows Ink, Microsoft is expanding the ability to use digital handwriting, inking, and some edit boxes for Windows Ink to more languages, for example, English from a lot of countries. Chinese, Japanese, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and more. I think that is pretty nice. And this also includes more accurate recognition technology, gestures to delete, select, join, and split words, and also gesture to insert a new line. Related to nearby sharing, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a change where you'll be able to discover and share files with their Android devices in discoverable mode through Bluetooth under nearby share in the Windows Share window. Regarding Task Manager, Microsoft improved process grouping in the Processes page for the Task Manager. We also have quite a few improvements for the Settings app. This update starts the rollout of account-related notifications for Microsoft accounts on the settings homepage. Microsoft account connects Windows to your Microsoft apps. The account backs up all your data and helps you manage your subscriptions. You can also add extra security steps to keep you from being locked out of your account. This feature displays notifications across the start menu and settings. You can manage settings notifications in settings, privacy and security, and then general. The Xbox game bar is now just game bar under settings and gaming. Microsoft is also beginning to update references to Azure Active Directory AD to Microsoft Entra ID in settings. And also inside system, we're going to notice that we have a new page which is called System Components. And these are basically all the apps and things that are part of the system. And now they are called System Components and they are categorized into this separate page inside settings which is called System Components. We also have a fix related to desktops in this build. Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing custom wallpapers to shift when switching desktops. And we also have a new known issue related to the start menu. Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing the recommended section to be blank for some insiders. As you can see, this issue is also a case on this machine that I currently have right now. So this was basically the latest build for the dev channel, build 23595. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.